Aloha, my name is Tomato and this is my video for the interview assignment. So I'm gonna say the questions and answer the questions. Uh, first question is how do you balance clients' needs with company goals? So in my in my opinion, ultimately every company should be focused on their customer to achieve their company goals. And so in certain situation however I believe it's it's hard to remember and to always be focused on that uh, particular um, uh, opinion and so it's not always obvious and so I want to share a story about that it's how I came to realize uh, how to react in this situation so when I was working as a uh, teaching assistant supervisor for the business management department and accounting uh, I had several type of customers I had to satisfy my direct managers uh, teachers other TAs and students and so my responsibility as a supervisor at that time was basically to provide for their needs whatever they needed help with for uh, to accomplish their task I had to provide um, in the most rapid and effective and efficient way um, keeping the smile and helping them and so the challenging part was that sometimes all of them will come at the same time and ask something out of me and I remember a particular time where um, the dean of the department the, ch the department chair came and asked me um, something he asked me he came with a stack of paper and he asked me to um, put all of it in a spreadsheet and sort it um, in a way that it will be easier for him to present it during at his four o'clock meeting but the problem was it was 315 and so he basically gave me 45 minutes to do all of that task and so I said yes of course I will do it and so I got right on it but then at the same time my manager would give me also a task uh, which is which was basically to email or scan or file papers and then TAs will come to ask me stuff like um, a key to enter into into certain areas or whatever and then students will come to ask about a scholarship or all of the kind of stuff and all of that happened at the same time and so it got really stressful and so I had to remember that this is my job and I just have to keep calm and to just take it as it comes and work as fast and as efficient as I could while keeping a smile while being professional still so from this experience I learned that you have to balance everything second question how would you describe your leadership style so um, I think I would describe my leadership style in one sentence all I expect from you is what I do so let me just develop a little bit more this means to me that if I talk the talk I also walk the walk meaning um, um, just to illustrate, I want to share an experience. Um, so while I was serving in my church as a leader of a group of 48 head of family, um, we have a system where we pair two families, two head of the families, and they visit other families to check up on them so that I don't have or the bishop don't have to visit all of the families to know their needs so they visit each other and then report report and we know basically what are the needs of the people um, so as the head of this program um, what we realize is that people value their time and basically don't want to go visit people and for different reasons and so um, how we approach that problem is uh, I promised the bishop and said that I was gonna achieve 100% that everyone will have been visited by the end of this month and that uh, if I had to do it myself I would do it myself and 
So the month went by and I kept motivating people and telling them, you know, go and visit the families that you are assigned to so that we know what they need so that we can take care of them. But they wouldn't do it. And by by the end of the month, around maybe four days before the end of the month, um, about 60% of the families were visited. So that was good. But 40%. I was 40% away to achieve 100%. So to make a long story short, I did it myself. I did, I went to visit all of the families that were not visited and asked them what were the needs, if they were taken care of, how we could help, and just visited them and make sure that um, they had someone to t to rely upon. So. Um, my vision in doing this wasn't to uh, show them that I can do it by myself or to be prideful and boast about it, but it was to show them that all I expect from them is what I can do. And if I can do it, anyone can do it. This is my opinion. And so the effect that this had in our group is that they knew that I could visit 40% of these people which was about 20 families by myself and so they by the end of the second month we had an increase of 20% so from 60% it went to about 80% of home teaching was done and then the following month was another 5% and then there was a turnover but that's the that's another problem. But this little experience, um, I think illustrates my leadership style. I I am not great with words. I have difficulty to motivate people with what I say, but I, I know I can motivate them by what I do. Next question. What type of student are you? Um, I would say that I am the type of student that you want in your class. Um, so um, I participate, I come to class prepared, and I, I, I can assure you that I'm almost, uh, I think I'm always on time for an assignment. And the only reason why I would be late is not because I forgot or not because of negligence, it's probably because of a technical issue. Um, because I come I base that on the principle that I paid for an education and I want to make the most out of it so let me share something about um, something about me about my education and so when I came to BYU Hawaii uh, campus which has 70 different country represented in the student body which is which was a great experience but it was difficult for me coming from a French system, from a French uh, school system. It was difficult for me to shift and switch um, to an American system, basically. So the first couple of semesters, I had to figure out what was going on. And so what I realized is that you can come here on uh, in BYU Hawaii and your education will not be just handed to you and you're like there take it and go home you have to go get it and if you want there are other resources that are available to you as a student to enrich um, this education you can get the minimum and get out of here or you can get the most out of it and so that's what I understood very early and so that's how I could make the most out of my education and so <clears throat> besides going to class and besides um, completing the classes required for my major I was able to take other classes on the side um, that would fit into my major and help it like information system classes um, uh, that would basically fit in my major because that's what supply chain manager use to make 
their job more effective and more efficient information system so that they know um, information of the whole supply chain about the whole supply chain their company their competitors and all of that stuff um, besides those classes I was also involved in student chapters I was um, the accountant the vice president for accounting for the Tahitian chapter and <clears throat> I was also the vice president of logistics for the Enactus chapter in charge of the logistics of all project activities, field trips, banquets, conferences, all of that I had to take care of. And even though I fought for a long time to have an assistant to help me do this task uh, in the Enactus uh, team, that was really challenging and I learned a lot out of this experience. But the most challenging um, part, the most difficult challenge that I took upon myself to do while, uh, st um, while studying at BYU was the TURP 10 certification. Um, so the TURP 10 certification is after the three, um, after the classes that I took for information system, there's a certification that is available to the students uh, to take that is not required that is not mandatory but available and given to the student which is a 10 day intensive course where we have to learn the content of a binder that is as thick as my hand and um, what happened is I took it upon myself to do it and I would basically study every day for like 12 hours straight and at the completion of this uh, program, I passed. And I was the first to finish in my section. And I completed it with 100% in the um, accounting section, which for our trainer was the first time ever that he saw that. Even accounting st student didn't get it. So that's the kind of student I am. Work fast, effectively, and efficiently. question how would you describe yourself are you more academic or practical <clears throat> so I would describe myself more practical than academical because I was always more comfortable learning by seeing and touching than reading it in books and I can read it and read it again but until I ask the teacher for a visual example then I will not understand it fully and so to illustrate that I'm going to share uh, something about my logistic class that I took um, uh, in BYU again um, so we learned a lot in logistics information systems accounting marketing um, business management classic strategic management learned a lot of principles and um, a lot of concepts, a lot of formulas, a lot of pretty ideas, but until I had an internship with a software company that is um, based in Utah Fishbowl Inventory that actually combined all of this concept in one great hall in one company um, before I had uh, visited this company it was hard to me to understand but now that I visited it and see how everything worked together it was way easier for me to understand what I wanted to achieve with my career and so that is why I say that it's more practical and academical and last question what are you working on developing in yourself right now? Um, so right now, I'm developing, I'm trying to develop a high tolerance for elevated stress level. Um, when I was a senior, actually right now in BYU Hawaii, um, I'm, I was taking classes, so I had homework. I was a supervisor 
I'm responsible for about 15 to 20 teacher assistants and also responsible for 15 to 20 teachers and had two managers that could give me um, tasks to do. I was also resp responsible for the logistics of five ongoing projects for the Inactus chapter, um, which were mostly based around the campus. But one was based in India and one was in two of them based in Africa. So it was challenging for me. And also part of that program that I talked about earlier and so situation could get a little crazy and due dates could overlap each other and just be really, really challenging and stressful. But stress, I believe, can be a good thing if managed cor correctly. And that's why I'm learning right now. And I think it's very really beneficial. Thank you.